Hi guys and welcome to yet another very exciting auto evaluation tutorial and in this tutorial I will talk to you about how to increase and decrease your track or clips you know duration by stretching them now if you have not opened the property panel in here it's in beside the video panel in here go to here go here and click it and open it but before you open it or uh, select one of your panels now you can adjust and increase and decrease the length of your you know selected clip but if you want to do it for more than one track at the same time that is possible okay once you open your stretch panel in here then there it might be the mode of stretching might be off like this turn it on now there are two options render high quality or real time now if you choose render right quality, it's going to take a little bit of time of processing. We are going to go for the real time because we are making this tutorial. Now, once you have selected your mode, you can come down to your floor types. There is monophonic, polyphonic, rapid speed. Monophonic will process quicker than polyphonic, but to get the desired result, we will go for polyphonic. And now you can have two options of stretching this before i stretch this uh, let me tell you one thing that look at this small stopwatch icon it is the same one in here which says global clip stretching it is on at the moment and these white triangles also suggest that and you can of course increase it stretch your uh, clip from here too i'm gonna show you that also in a bit if you turn those off the stretching is gone now you cannot stretch it anymore okay now if you turn those off and you can see at this the clip size in here in other clips also it is said that it is its size or duration is about 100 percent because it is not being stretched or condensed at, at all now we can increase this by the duration we can put in the duration it is 50 second at the moment these clip size we can make them one minute two minutes three minutes whatever time we want or we can increase them by the percentage it depends on you you want to do it on based on their time or your percentage for example i want to increase the size by 150 percent or 50 percent you know they will become 150 percent in their length so when i click enter their size increase and now the icon or in here their size is shown being to be 150 percent now this is a slider to adjust the pitch if you there's a problem with the pitch you can adjust it and see that how many mil semitones increase and decrease in this to one side or the other side would make your pitch sound better okay now this area in the advanced tab as you can see some of the options are not available that is because we are working in the real time these options become available when we are working in the uh, render time when i click on the render time you, as you can see the processing is started and it's going to take a while before it processes all the things but we have some more options in here we can you know uh, you know select our quality the quality or the precision of the you know stretching you know high medium low and stuff like that this slider decides how much sensitive or do be audition should be to preserving the integrity of the tracks while it is stretching high and low you know the percentage and how much sensitivity it should show okay i think i'm gonna go back to the real time because the render quality is taking a bit too long for my liking the window size is of course the block of milliseconds that Adobe Audition takes into consideration uh, when it is processing uh, in, uh, the increase or decrease in the stretching of these clips. Yeah, at the moment it's set at 37 seconds so that is the 37 second block that it processes or looks at at one time when it is stretching or decreasing. This uh, last option which is not available at the moment because we have not select uh, you know the relevant you know or mode or type for which this is selected in it says preserve formats but even if this is if available what you can do is that uh, when you click it uh, uh, the computer or your software uh, works harder to preserve 
uh, good quality or for preserve the you know the checks uh, you know audio files or the thing so they are still audible you know this does that for it so with that said uh, one more thing that I want to show you that if you bring your cursor over to this corner in this white angle in here you can increase and increase the size since I've selected both of these from here too now as you can see we increase it by 218 percent now if I turn one of them off so you can hear clearly uh, I, I'm gonna play them and since their size is increased everything gonna slow down their you know speed uh, you gonna hear them it sounds like uh, the guy is talking in slow-mo as you can hear uh, there's of course the result that one should expect uh, when working in this sort of a way but if we go here uh, to our percentage and decrease it back to 100 percent then it sounds normal life equation okay test them it uh, does that and if we decrease it then the thing is condensed and then the speech or whatever the audio file it is gonna run out uh, or play in a less time so it sounds very really fast it sounds like a chipmunk yeah, from Chris and Dale or something that cartoon was okay let's play it as you can see as you can hear actually not see of course that it sounded exactly like a chipmunk uh, so this is okay a benefit of this tutorial that now you know how to create chipmunks uh, you know type of sound inside um, Adobe Audition and so on and now you also know that why does chipmunk sound the way they do because they are talking so fast okay so with that said i hope you like this tutorial and that you enjoyed it and uh, and i hope to see you in the next tutorial uh, until that time um, i take my leave from you guys goodbye and keep learning